Most important of all, we must get big money out of politics. Here's how. Everything we want to achieve as a nation, addressing climate change, reigning in Wall Street, ensuring free public higher education, everything else we've talked about in this series and more, rests in large part on whether we're able to get big money out of politics. In the big picture, we know that in the last presidential election year, 40% of all political contributions came from the richest one hundredth of one percent just 16,000 households worth at least $110 million each. We know that 2016 will be the most expensive election year in history. This kind of money comes with strings attached, tax favors, subsidies, bailouts, and quiet promises not to act in the public's interest, but in the moneyed interests. It's a broken system that needs fixing. Easy to say, but how do we do it? First, and most immediately, require full disclosure of all original sources of campaign money, so the public knows who's giving what to whom, and can hold politicians accountable if they do favors for contributors while neglecting their responsibilities to all of us. If Congress won't enact such a law, the Federal Election Commission has the power to do it, and the Securities and Exchange Commission should do it for public corporations. Meanwhile, the president should issue an executive order requiring all federal contractors to fully disclose their political contributions. Next, our government should provide matching funds for small donor contributions. Say, three public dollars for every dollar from a small donor. Those public dollars could come from a checkoff on your income tax return indicating you want, say, $15 of your taxes devoted to public financing of elections. Third, and most importantly, we must reverse the Supreme Court's First Amendment decisions holding that money is speech and corporations have the political rights of people, and that therefore no laws can be enacted limiting the amount of money wealthy individuals or big corporations can spend on elections. Seeking a constitutional amendment to overturn Citizens United may itself build a social movement powerful enough to influence the court, like the movement that led to the historic Brown versus Board of Education decision. Ultimately, we need justices who understand that the freedom of speech of most Americans is drowned out when big money can spend as much as it wants. The fundamental rule for an economy that works for everyone is a democracy that works.